Hi everyone! Our next lesson is about systems of linear equations in two variables in their graph. Equations like 3x minus y is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 3x plus 3 are called simultaneous equations or a system of linear equations. The solution of that system of linear equation is an ordered pair that satisfies both of the equation. The solution set of a system of linear equations in two variables is the set of all ordered pairs of real numbers that makes every equation in the system true. Okay, let's start the week with a great lesson. Draw the graph of each pair of equations. So these are examples of systems of linear equation. Let us graph them to be able to determine the different graph of a system of linear equation. Let's start with letter A. The first equation is 3x plus y is equal to 5. So let us write it in slope-intercept form. To determine the value of the y-intercept and slope. So the y-intercept is 5. Let us plot 5. And the slope is negative 3. So your change in y is negative 3. And the change in x is positive 1. So this is now the graph of our first equation. 3x plus y is equal to 5. So let us take note of the slope and the y-intercept. Second equation is 2x minus y is equal to 9. The slope-intercept form is y is equal to 2x minus 9. The y-intercept is negative 9. So let us plot negative 9. And the slope is positive 2. So let's find the second point using the slope, the change in y is positive 2, and the change in x is 1. So this is now the graph of our second equation, 2x minus y is equal to 9. So let's take note of the slope in the y-intercept. Let us now define this type of system of linear equation. If you will notice, the slopes are not equal. In this example, the y-intercepts are also not equal, but there are instances that the two lines intersect along the y-axis, which means that the y-intercepts are equal. So thus, the y-intercepts of this kind of system could be equal or not equal. So these two lines is what we call intersecting lines because they intersect at one point, which means that an intersecting line has one solution. Let us now proceed to letter B example. Let's find the slope-intercept form. That is y is equal to 3x minus 4. The y-intercept is negative 4, so let's plot negative 4. And the slope is 3. So the change in y is positive 3 and our change in x is positive 1, which is the denominator of 3. So we got the graph of 3x minus y is equal to 4. So let us take note the slope and the y-intercept. Okay. The second equation is y is equal to 3x plus 2. So the y-intercept is 2. Let us plot positive 2 and let us find the second point using the slope which is 3. The change in y is 3 and the change in x is 1. So let us now plot these two points which is now the graph of the equation y is equal to 3x plus 2. Let us take note of the y-intercept and the slope. Now let us now define this type of system. So the slopes here are equal, the y-intercepts are not equal, and since the two lines are parallel and they will never intersect, that means that there is no solution. In letter C example, the first equation is x plus 3y is equal to 6. 
So let us first write in slope intercept form. We have the y intercept positive 2. So let us plot positive 2. And the slope is negative 1 third. The change in y is negative 1. And the change in x is positive 3. So we get now the graph of the first equation x plus 3y is equal to 6. So let us take note of the slope in the y intercept. The second equation is 2x plus 6y is equal to 12. The slope intercept form of it is y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 2. So your y intercept is 2. Let us plot 2. And the slope is negative 1 third. The change in y is negative 1. And the change in x is positive 3. So let us now connect the two triangles and we got the graph of the equation 2x plus 6y is equal to 12. So let us take note of the slope and the y-intercept. Let us define this type of system of linear equation. If you will notice, the slopes are equal, the y-intercepts are also equal, and these two lines coincide. So this is what we call the coinciding lines. Since they coincide, that means that there are lots of points which is common to them. So the solution of this system of linear equation is infinite. In our previous examples, we noticed that there are different types of systems of linear equations based on the graph. The first one is the intersecting lines, which is called the consistent and the independent system, which has exactly one solution. The slopes are not equal. The y-intercept could be equal or not equal. The graphs intersect at one point, And the ratio of their numerical coefficients are not equal. The ratio of the numerical coefficients of x is 3 over 2, which is not equal to the ratio of the numerical coefficients of y, which is 1 over negative 1, which is not equal to the ratio of the constants 5 over 9. The second example is the parallel lines, which is called the inconsistent system. An inconsistent system has no solution, the slopes are equal, the y-intercepts are not equal, the graphs are parallel, and the ratio of the numerical coefficients of x and y are equal. So in our example, the ratio of the numerical coefficient of x is 1 over 1, which is equal to the ratio of the numerical coefficient of y, which is 1 over 1 regardless of the ratio of the constant. Our third example is the coinciding line, which is the consistent and dependent system. A consistent and dependent system has infinitely many solutions because this, there are lots of common points to these two lines. The slopes are equal. The y-intercepts are equal, obviously, because they intersect at one point on the y-axis. And the graphs coincide. The ratio of their numerical coefficients are equal. The ratio of the numerical coefficient of x is 1 half, which is equal to the ratio of the numerical coefficient of y, which is 3 over 6 with the simplest form 1 half, which is also equal to the ratio of the constant term 6 over 12 with the simplest form 1 half. So those are the different types of systems of linear equations in two variables. I hope you understand everything about this lesson. Good luck!